Hi, Advanced Algebra 2B. These are your Algebra Review Note number 5 for Block Day, which is either going to be September 12th or 13th, depending on what day you have class. Uh, we're going to be doing some factoring today. So for the first example, we have 5x squared minus 20. Now, please make sure on these notes that you write down everything you see. So anything on the paper, you have to write down also. Um, when we look at these, if you can factor out a common number, I want you to always do that first. Life will be easier. So the first thing I do is I look at the numbers in the problem and I say, can I factor something out? And in this case, 5 goes into both 5 and into 20. So I can factor a 5 out. Now when I do that, 5 divided by 5 is 1. 20 divided by 5 is negative 4. So that's where I get 5 times x squared minus 4. And then x squared minus 4 is a special factoring pattern. Because x squared is a perfect square and 4 is a perfect square, this is called a difference of squares. And so when I factor a difference of squares, I take the square root of both of these guys, so x and 2, and I say x minus 2 times x plus 2. Now the reason this works is if I were to FOIL, x times x gives me the x squared. I get a minus 2x and a plus 2x. And then negative 2 times 2 gives me negative 4. The minus 2x and the plus 2x cancel out, which is why there's no x term in the middle here. And this would be my final factored answer. So that's a difference of squares. Um, for part b, when you start with something like x squared minus x minus 12, since the numbers in front, there's nothing in common there that I can factor out. I'm not going to factor out a common term. So instead, I'm going to look for two numbers that multiply to negative 12 and add up to negative 1. So I'm looking at this number first, two numbers that multiply to this and add up to the middle number. And then it's just a game of guess and check. So the first guess I made, sorry this is so bouncy, is uh, x minus 2 and x plus 6 because minus 2 times 6 is negative 12. And now I'm going to check and see if it gives me the right middle term. So when I FOIL, x times 6 gives me 6x and I get negative 2 times x gives me negative 2x. And when I put those together, a 6 and a negative 2 make 4x. And since that's not matching up with the negative x in the middle, I know this one doesn't work. So instead of using your erasers and like wasting your eraser, just cross it out. And then I'll know that that was one of your guesses that didn't work out. The next guess I'm going to make, I know that 4 times 3 gives me 12. And I'm going to make one of them negative, so I get a negative 12. And then when I check, x times x is x squared x times 3 is 3x, I get a negative 4x there, and negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. When I combine like terms in the middle, negative 4 and 3 gives me a negative x, and so I know that this one worked. So I've got it. This is the factored form. So I guess I put the box around the wrong thing. Um, this is going to be a little tricky. This guy is your answer right here. Okay, The x minus 4 times x plus 3 is the factored form, so that's your answer. I should not box this. This is just me checking my work. Okay, and then let's see here. So the next and last example, if you have a number in front of the x squared, like 5x squared minus 17x plus 6, you're going to look at the last number first and think of its factor pairs. So I know that like 2 times 3 is 6, negative 2 times negative 3, or I could have combinations of 1 and 6 to get a positive 6 out here. And then you're going to look at the factor pairs of the first number. So I look at this 5, and I know that 5 times 1 is 5. And then you're playing the guess and check game again. So I know 5x times x gives me 5x squared. 5x times negative 6 gives me negative 30. Negative 1 times negative x gives me negative x. And negative 1 times negative 6 gives me 6. Now, I can tell already that this didn't work because negative 30 minus 1 is going to be a negative 31x, but that doesn't match up with my negative 17 in the middle. So then I guess again, this time I'm going to do 5 and 1 again, but now I'm going to switch to 3 and 2. When I do this, I get 5 times x is 5x squared. I get a negative 10x, a negative 3x, and negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6. Here again, though, negative 10 and negative 3 gives me negative 13. I'm closer to that negative 17x, but I still don't quite have it. So then my next guess, I switch the 3 and the 2 around, since I was pretty close. Now I know that I've got 5x times x is 5x squared, 5x times negative 3, let's see, that's 15, and a negative 2. Negative 2x and negative 15x do give me that negative 17 in the middle, and they really do give me a plus 6 in the end. So this is actually the answer is this factored guy right here. I should have put the box around this.
That's what I'm going to do right here. This guy is my answer. So 5x squared minus 17x plus 6 factors to 5x minus 2 times x plus 3. And so you just guess and check until you get it. All right, uh, have a good night, and I will see you in class tomorrow. Thanks.